Alright, um, right now I'm going to show you how to um, burn Xbox 360 games to play in your flashed Xbox 360. Now it is required that your Xbox 360 drive is flashed, and if you don't know how to do that, check out my other videos. Um, but I'm going to show you the website where you get the games right now. So, to get the games, I use this website, which does require you to have a login and password, but it's free. So, um, just sign up for it. It's no big deal. Um, it is like a forum based website, so it's like all in forum style. But um, if you go to this thread that I have, I'll put in the description, it has all the games you could pretty much possibly ever want. But, um, so here are all the games right here. Now, all the games are in seven part, um, seven parts because they are large files, they're like eight gigabytes, so um, they break them up. Um, and they do use Mega Upload, which is a site. Um, where if you don't have a premium membership, it will take a long time to download. So it's kind of a hassle, but, I mean, it's better than paying for the game, I guess. So what you're going to do is, um, say you want Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. You're just going to copy the first link, and then enter it in your browser. And if you never use Mega Upload, you just go, you enter the code. That's, um, right here. So you just do CKN5. And click download file and if you don't have a premium membership you're gonna wait 45 seconds or whatever so um, that's what you're gonna do and you're gonna download all all of these seven parts and then you'll have Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 now if you don't know how to um, they are in RAR dot RAR files so if you don't know how to own RAR files check out um, one of my other videos showing you how to do that on Mac um, but you're gonna unrar those files and it'll it'll have it'll um, RAR them all into one folder now, uh, once you have your folder, I like to rename it um, the game that you downloaded. So I have all my games right here, and I've renamed them all so where you know which game. Now, when you have your game, here's Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. It's going to have two files, a .dvd file and a .iso file. Now, um, the first thing you're going to do with your um, two files is you're going to open up this program called Xbox 360 ISO Hacker which I'll have in the description again um, you just click OK and you go to the hack tab and you click open and you find wherever your game is so I, it's, mine's right here Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 and you click the .iso file and then open will come up and you click and mine yours will say already patched and it'll say no and you'll just click on hack but since mine's already patched since I've done all this mine says yes but you'll just click hack and once that's done you'll just quit out of Xbox 360 ISO Hacker and you'll open up this program called ABGX 360 GUI you just open that right up alright now this is super important because you have to have um, your settings exactly like mine or else it won't work so the first you're gonna go to the options tab and you're gonna check check VIX video padding check show avatar awards and check for any DVD style game data corruption make sure that is all the same so just pause the video right here and make sure yours is the same. Now you're going to go to manually patch or extract files. That should all be unchecked. Go to auto fix. Make it level 3 auto fix as stealth passes but fails verification. And then check adjust SSV1 angle 359 for iExtreme lesson version 1.4. Now you're going to go to rebuilding and you're going to click don't delete the original ISO after rebuilding. And then you're going to go to the miscellaneous tab. Select. And if you're in the United States like I am, you're going to select the NTSC slash U. Um, that's the region of your Xbox 360. Then you're going to um, the down arrow for split vid, and you're going to click on add it if it doesn't exist or is, isn't valid. Alright, those are all the settings you need. Now you're going to open up your web your .iso file is. Again, mine's here. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. And you click on the .iso file. You click open and then you hit launch and then this is what should open up this terminal um, box and uh, alright so when you're seeing all these um, words come up um, what you want to see are all green and white letters so if you have any yellow or red it doesn't necessarily mean it's not gonna work it just means it's not guaranteed to work so if they're green it's definitely gonna work so if all your letters are green and white then you are good to go um, down here it'll say check in percent done 
Um, you're just going to wait till that hits 100%. Mine's at 10% right now. So I'm going to stop the video and then come back when that's at 100%. Alright, so once you're, um, you're done, as you can see, percent done is 100%, and it comes down, and then it comes down to whatever the name of your uh, MacBook is, and then, um, yeah, so you, that's, uh, this part of the, um, process is done. Now, what this process just did is, um, it did something called stealth the game, and what that means is, um, when it's stealth, you're able to play on live, so, um, you won't get caught when you play on live Xbox Live with these games. So that's all that this um, process just did. So um, once this is done, you're just going to quit this, quit Terminal, and then quit ABGX360GUI. And now you're um, ready for your next part.